Good morning, afternoon, or evening, and welcome back to Edenia. My name is Krimi Clown, and you're watching me play Cities Skylines. So, yeah, our little town of Edenia, uh, formerly known as Hippie Heaven, thanks to the uh, amazing cars that were parked outside. I don't know if we can find any one of those cars now. Of course not. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that bit. I wish I could zoom in even further, but I can't, sadly. Um, look at that one. That's a really bright car. <laughs> Great stuff. All right, so uh, we've got a bit of a town center going on. We've got this, which will be replanned probably in the future, because I, I would love this to be a big shopping district. Uh, but we needed some houses in the first place. So, uh, yeah, we're going to continue with this zigzag uh, pattern. We don't want a grid. We want, uh, we want it to be nice and organic. But we don't want to go into the, into the funky funky roads just yet we don't want to do this and that and bend all around just yet because we're going to leave that for the coast uh we want some nice bendy roads on the coast but for now we'll uh, try to fit it in the grid without doing an exact square grid so uh if we pull this through to here and we'll con connect it to, to there let's uh yeah that's nice and this is going to be the outer edge of town because we don't want the pollution of uh, uh, of the industrial zone to mingle with this. So um, yeah, that's going to be fine for now. Uh, we don't want to build anything on this side. We probably just want to have some uh, some electricity cables on this side, uh, preferably. So if ever something is not connected to the grid, it will be able to connect up to here so that will be nice uh, we'll have some nice cables running on the outs outskirts of town um, that's all good that is all good uh, let's take a look we need to build some more roads because obviously we need to build stuff like for instance this health clinic now we could plonk it down right in the center and I think we should really there we go now everyone can get a bit healthy and we also need some education and you know what everyone can get there can, can get their learn on at this high school. Uh, sorry, preschool. Um, yeah, let's plunk it down here because it's, it will have great coverage over this, uh, this bit. So we'll have a clinic and, uh, and an elementary school. There we go. Really nice. It will have some upkeep. It will make sure that we, uh, uh, that we don't have a lot of money left. But, you know, it will have to do. Uh, you can only have three loads at once. Uh, we can only have one, though, because we uh, don't have a big enough town just yet. We need bigger populations to take uh, to take these loans. Um, if you have the money to pay it back, uh, I always suggest you do. This one has the least uh, interest, and it will pay off automatically. But it would be really nice if uh, it would be really nice if you could pay it off earlier, because you know, higher profit is always better in these games. So, uh, sun is about to set. I don't even see the sun right now. Oh, there we go. There it is. Sun is about to set. It's about to get dark. And when it's dark, um, yeah, we, we can't really see what we're doing. So, let's build some roads um, to beat the time. There we go. And we'll plow right through your house. Very sorry, mister. And we'll make this one as well. And we'll have some more residential. There we go. This is all going to be residential on the insides. They've got big shopping centers near, so that's uh, none of our concern. We'll, uh, we'll have a bit of a shopping center here as well. A couple of, uh, couple of shops. There we go. And this one as well. It's very nice. Yeah, this block is all filled in. Uh, we've got plenty of, uh, of industry already at the moment, which is nice. And there we go. This is going to be quite something. Um, we could even have footpaths and stuff. Uh, because people will now have to follow the roads. And if we take a look at these. We can have... Uh, where are they? It's not over here. We, I know there's footpaths in the game. But... Oh, it's probably on the parks and plazas. And we need to, we need to reach a certain population before we get that. Alright. I can live with that. Um... Let's, uh, let's talk about garbage for a second, because this garbage pile, uh, this is going to fill up. It's 1% full at the moment, but it will fill up. And when it's full, 
um, it will not be able to gather any more garbage. We need to uh, we need to empty it in an incinerator, and we don't have an incinerator just yet because we unlock it uh, when we've got a, a rather large population, I think. Um, so for now, um, we need to make sure that um, that we don't expand too quickly. You don't want to expand like. Um, like crazy because we've got the money we could build some more roads fill it in you know but we're not going to do that right now uh, at least I say we're not gonna do that right now but I think we should <laughs> oh god uh, yeah we should definitely do a bit more expanding and we'll just do it in the zigzag pattern again because oh look at that we're a worthy village so now we can buy a new area. We can also have districts and policies in the second loan. Uh, district specializations. Services and policies. Uh, we have unique buildings, fire and police departments. And we can even specialize our, um, our industry. Which will be really nice. Because forestry and agriculture are clean. They don't really, uh, they don't really pollute the area. So if you look at this. A slightly increased... Uh, electricity consumption, slightly increased tax income, required natural resource forest, which is renewable. Um, and this will uh, be considered increased water, uh, considerably increased water consumption, slightly increased tax income. Uh, but I know that these will not pollute as much, so that's really nice. Uh, yeah, let's do it a bit like this. Let's connect it up to here. Uh, we can have this branch off to here and here we'll just build the roads because that is one of the most important things to have roads to actually connect something to so let's do this like this we'll have this diagonally we'll have this one diagonally that's fine we'll have this one extend two and then to here that will be a bit awkward but we can do it there we go this will go out like this out like this and out like this we could also have this one connect oh that's going to be uh that's going to leave a bit of a curve i like that really there we go bit of a curve and we'll not connect this because you know what because logic this is all going to be residential so we don't really have to we don't really have to watch city planning all that much. This is uh, this is going to be fine. This is going to be the new uh, the new area. Yay! Let's hook it up to the water. Um, let's yeah, let's do it like this. You know what? We'll spend a little bit on piping. There we go. Because if you do it like this, uh, these will always overlap, so there will be no shortage of water ever. There we go. Doing fine. Doing very, very fine. Now, uh, as long as there's power going in, uh, we can expand. So if there's a demand for anything, we can expand it. Uh, let's take a look at the natural resources, because this is where it's at. We've got a lot of forest up here, and up here as well. So we can definitely do some forestry, uh, yeah, some forestry industry over here. Uh, we don't have a lot of fertile land. Uh, it's down here in the south. Um, is this still our area? Yes, it is. So we could have a bit of an agricultural district, which is nice. Um, now, we can add districts, which uh, gives us a lot of opportunities. So if we grab the brush, let's grab the medium brush or, or the small one. Small one follows roads perfectly, which is nice. So if you want to name a certain road, you can just do it like this. And it will snap to the road. And this will be a Birdsong Square. Well, we don't want to name this Birdsong Square. But let's uh, let's encase this place in roads. Uh, in, a, in a district, sorry. So this will be the original town, right? So there we go. This is the original town of Edenia. There we go. Let's fill it in. And it will join up. And now we can grab a... Uh, we can just grab a corner and fill this in a bit. Just so we have some leeway. And this will automatically catch up. You can also use a bigger brush. But I like to be very precise 
This is going to be Old Town. It's now called Birdsong Square, but we can uh, we can rename it. You can rename everything. You can rename a person's dog if you see him walking their dog. It's really, really good. Uh, so let's rename this to Old Town Edenia. There we go. This is Old Town. And we can have policies as well. We can say, um, you guys need to watch your power usage, um, which will uh, increase upkeep per building but it will not use as much power. We can also have smoke detectors. And smoke detectors is really nice because we don't get as much fires. There we go. We'll just have smoke detectors mandatory for all town because these are going to be your older buildings and these will not be fitted. Uh, speaking of fire, we have unlocked the fire department, but we haven't placed it anywhere. Now, we definitely want to place it in, uh, in the vicinity of our industry because that's where the most fires happen. So let's plonk it down somewhere around here. Also, a, f uh, a police station, but right now crime is not on the up and we cannot even afford this. We could, of course, take another loan, which will put us more in the red uh, with the banks. But at least we can add a police station and we can put it on the edge of all the new uh, Old Town, Edenia and the new area. So let's put it right there. That's going to be really nice. So people will feel safe. Nice. There we go. All Town Edenia is flourishing. Now, let's take a look at the coverages, because these coverages will change if you add more roads. For now, uh, this place seems to be able to enjoy education. The police department will uh, be able to protect mostly everything. And the fire department does have a bit of trouble reaching these areas. Uh, in time, at least. Um, and for some reason... These industries, they are colored red. Oh, because that's a big hazard. Right. So these areas are high hazard. And fireman efficiency is uh, by the road color. So I think, yeah. Now these areas that are a big hazard, uh, because they are far further away, uh, they might need their own fire station. But we're not going to spend that money right now. Uh, first of all, let's pay off this loan. There we go. So we're in the, we're in the positive numbers again. Um, let's take a look. We can do some monuments if we want to. Uh, you know what? We'll have a nice statue of shopping. And we'll have the statue of shopping... Should we have it in this corner? I think that looks nice, but it will um, demolish a lot of department stores which you've built over here. And that's not so nice. Uh, how oh, this is ten thousand? Wow. Uh, you know what? We'll have we'll have it over here, and a lot of people in the area will be able to benefit from the from the niceness of this uh, of this monument. There's also a statue of wealth, which is really expensive, ironically. Um, yeah, should we place these? You know what? I think we'll just wait until we get some normal parks and plazas. We'll just place some smaller parks. We can even have a football stadium if we got uh, 1,300 citizens, which we nearly have. We are growing like cabbage. Really nice. Um, so let's take a look at our electricity. Uh, we need to produce some more electricity because we are going to... Uh, we're going to suffer very soon. So let's uh, let's make some more coal generators. Because these things work like a charm. There we go. We'll just plunk one down right here. There we go. This will save us... Uh, if this is online, it will bump up this arrow probably all the way to max. There we go. It's all the way to max again. These coal generators are really efficient. Some people go with uh, clean energy from the start. And clean energy is very nice, but they are dependent on the wind and they uh, do not output as much as a coal power plant, which is always 40 megawatts of, I think it's megawatts, yeah. Uh, this one will produce up to 8, depending on uh, depending on the building, uh, on the, uh, the surroundings rather. So yeah, that's, uh, in the beginning it's not so good. Uh, water, we're doing fine for water. Garbage, landfill usage uh, is fine. We've got high coverage. Nice. Education, uh, we 
probably need another elementary school in this corner somewhere, which is fine. Citizens are rather happy, um, except for this guy. I don't know why they are unhappy, because it doesn't say so. Or well, these are getting happy um, gradually, so that's nice. Um, health care and death care, we don't have to deal with death care just yet. We will in the near future, though. Uh, but healthcare is uh, is doing okay. It's doing very nice, even. There's one sick citizen, and we can get him to a hospital, uh, to a clinic very soon. Now, this levels is not available just yet. Wind, we can take a look at the wind. So, uh, if we want to make sure that we get a lot of uh, a lot of wind power, we need to put the uh, to put the windmills along this ridge, which is not a bad thing actually. We could put. We can put them there. That's nice. Uh, traffic. How's traffic doing? We are doing fine on traffic. I'm really surprised. Uh, there we go. We're upgrading to the new... I think it's Boomtown. There we go. Come on. One more day. Oh, God. We're one citizen short. One citizen short of unlocking a tiny town. We're a tiny town now. Uh, we were a worthy village and now we're a tiny town. We can have event policies. Use policies to adjust odds of winning games. Football policies are global. All right. And we can do landscaping now. Modify terrain with the landscaping tools. Nice. Uh, decorations to blazers. Great. Uh, subsidized youth. Wow. All right. Uh, this has all got to do with the, uh, uh, with the match day DLC, which is, well, strangely enough, uh, has everything to do with football with soccer ra rather uh, modify the terrain so we can do some terrain landscaping which is nice uh, uh, this was a feature which was uh, solely um, uh, solely for the level editor but now you can do it in game as well it's probably rather expensive uh, we can have paths even bike paths which is really nice and we can have trees and we can have uh, rocks we can have lots and lots of rocks wow i don't know if it's worth having big rocks i don't really like the big rocks because they are in the way look this one i would rather delete it than add a new one and this is water structures so we can have uh we can have a deep canal medium canal and a shallow canal we can also have a flood wall nice and a key I think it's pronounced key, which is really odd. I love English. Uh, use keys to give a waterfront a nice finish. So yeah, oh yeah, you can put these on the waterfront, and these will uh, this will look really nice. All right, great. Uh, so we can do that. Uh, we can do landscaping, which is nice. Um, we are definitely lacking a lot of commercial area. So let's make this uh, these little blocks into commercial. There we go. Let's have a bit of commercial here as well. And this will be a big commercial block. This will be a commercial relief over here. This block. Very nice. Um, this will start building department stores and whatever. And we can build some houses right next to that. Because we are in need of houses. There we go. And we'll have some houses here. And here. And here as well. And this will be more... Um, yeah, we'll have a, a couple stores over here. You know, you've got to spread these things. As I said, you don't want all the stores in one place. Uh, now, this is a bit of an exception. Because there's one large strip, but there's plenty of coverage for the traffic. Uh, this will have to be upgraded one day, though. Uh, we'll have to upgrade this, uh, these roads to bigger roads. Because in the center, it's not so bad. But, you know, you want to have bigger roads so that people can actually get past. Especially over here. I uh, still have to get used to the left-handed traffic, but starting to get used to it. Uh, there's a manhole cover in the road, and it's reflecting sunlight. If you would believe that. Yeah, look at that. It's reflecting sunlight. Wow, such detail. Uh, I thought there was a guy standing here on the, on the roundabout, but uh, that would be really odd. Uh, I don't know what this is. Really don't know. Um, all right. So... We've got this uh, zigzag neighborhood. Uh, we'll just wait for some demands to uh, to rise, so we can um, 
yeah, we can play with those demands. And uh, we can have a high school as well now. We definitely need a high school, but I think we should make a bit of a campus for that. Um, we don't just want to plonk a high school in the middle of a... Uh, or should we? You know what? Plonk. There we go. That's the high school. High school taken care of. Uh, let's see. We don't have death care just yet. We don't have uh, police, prisons and whatnot. Police headquarters and prisons. We don't need to do that just yet. We can do parks. Now, this is really nice because these parks, uh, some of them are really big. We don't want the really big parks. We just want the small parks. Oh, this is a huge park. Uh, this one's a bit small. Uh, it's called the small playground. So let's put this in a residential area. So what about um, what about over here? We'll have to cut all of these houses out of the way. Uh, and these will rebuild into smaller houses. But the people of Old Town Edenia will have a playground for their kids. And that will do some digging and dogging as... Uh, as my favorite YouTuber Sips always says. Because, um, did you hear that ding sound? Uh, it's the sound of buildings upgrading. And it's really nice. I love it. When everything goes ding, I love it. So let's play some more parks, shall we? Uh, we can have this a park with trees, which is really great. This is a large play playground. We don't want that. Uh, this is a dark park. Now, people will have dogs. So let's put the dark park over here. There we go. Slap bang in the middle. This will be a dog park. And it's uh, it's fenced off so the dogs won't escape. And oh, look at that. There's a lot of things just for dogs. Wow. All right. Uh, great. Um, we can also have a Zen garden, a Japanese garden, or a botanical garden. Now, this should be big. Yeah, that's, that's huge. And we can have a, a carousel park or a bouncy castle, which is also really fun for the kids. But it's more of a downtown thing. Uh, this is going to be fine. We'll just have the Japanese garden uh, right across here. There we go. A Japanese garden. Look at that. That's really nice and detailed. It's got a nice pond with some stairs leading up to it. There's a Zen garden over here. Some rocks and some sand. Some lanterns. Looks really nice. People can uh, can just go there, eat their lunch outside in the park. It's really good. Um, all right, so this is all taken care of. Uh, our next need is commercial, but there is still commercial being built over here, so we don't really need to take a look at it. How's noise pollution? Noise pollution is a big thing um, because we have a lot of commercial areas around here and commercial areas within the residential areas as well. That means that these will never become... Oh, look at that. That was really creepy with the lightning and such. Um, well, the noise pollution will mean that this will never be a high-end neighborhood because if you want to have those big mansions by the, uh, by the sea, uh, you will have to uh, to get some to get some nice standalone houses. Because no, noise pollution and uh, water pollution and, uh, you know, all of those pollutions will uh, contribute to... Oh, just in time to put down a new fire station because... Oh, that's a clinic. I built a clinic. Well, that was not really what I intended. We need to build a fire station because... Did we really build a clinic? <laughs> wow. Wow. And now we can't afford a fire station. Now, this has really poor coverage, but I think... Yeah, there he is. Luckily, it's raining as well. I don't know if that affects anything, but, you know, why not? Now, there's not enough workers over here, which is strange because we have catered for our needs for residential. So, there should be people living around here able to work there. Um, all right, we definitely need a firehouse somewhere around here. So let's uh, take out another loan. There we go. Firehouse. There we go. We'll just plonk it down on the, on the corner of the road. Now, these people will be catered for even better, which is nice. Uh, police, we're doing fine. Uh, education, we have... We don't have any elementary schools around here. We definitely want one. Uh, we can't really put it down there. 
We'll have to put it on the on the diagonal side of the road. There we go. Nice. Very, very nice. Uh, yeah, let's just make the rest of this all residential. There we go. Plonk. The rest is going to be residential eventually. Now, there are water problems, I see. Um, oh, no, these houses just got uh, connected to the grid. Uh, like, you see these bubbles? Usually these bubbles mean there's a, a water problem. But as soon as a house is built, it will have a water problem initially, but it will be solved immediately. What a lovely day for a walk. I don't really agree, but, you know, to each his own. You do you. Um, all right, so this new part of town, uh, we need to give it a bit of a name, of course. And it has a really odd, sh uh, odd shape, so... We can do something like this, I get Oh, that's not that's not straight. Uh, I really don't like it when it's not straight, and I'm very sorry for that, but it needs to be somewhat straight. There we go. And we'll be able to, to name this as well. Uh, you know what? We, we can have this road on the new part of town. We'll just have this road. Thank you. You can have the buildings, but we'll have the road. There we go. I love it when it snaps. So good. I love it for a lot of reasons. Um, OCD being one, of course. What's happening here? This is not. This is not the same, is it? No, apparently it's not. There we go. Now it's all Dale Heights. Really, oh, God, that that went fast. There we go. Let's do this again. There we go. Really nice. Let's fill it in. Let's fill it in like this and this and this and this. And this is, of course, not Dale Heights, but this will be... Um, we, we, de we definitely need some names, so comments are very... Uh, uh, this is a uh, name pending. <laughs> Name pending. Uh, I want you to name these districts. Yeah, that's going to be nice. So this is going to be the new part of town. It's going to be mostly residential with a big shopping center on the edge. So that's really nice. There we go. Look at that. Um, this can be residential as well. Good God. Uh, name pending, guys. Uh, we are doing fine for industry, which is, um, which is a miracle because we haven't added any industry in... Well, what seems like years. And before we end the episode, uh, there's not enough educated workers. So we need more people to actually go to school. Um, you can actually take a look. We, we need, uh, they need two uneducated people. Probably just for stocking and stuff. They need educated people. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, they need Educated, which is elementary, well-educated, which is high school, and no highly educated, which is university. So, uh, yeah, we've got those facilities, and those people can reach the elementary schools and the high school. Everyone can reach. They just need to. Uh, they just need to learn. Uh, anyway, uh, that will be it for this episode. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this episode, you are free to press uh, press a button. On the bottom side of this video, you can press either the like button or the dislike button. Either way, I would like to thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time. Have a great day.